Before we do anything, we're going to remember this, or I didn't teach you this before, but uh, this is the first time. Very important, all students take calculus. So that means you're gonna have to take calculus eventually. So please take calculus, I guess. <laughs> all students take calculus. What does that mean? It is a way of remembering what is positive and negative in each quadrant. So the way it goes uh, is you start with the first quadrant, it goes all student take calculus. Okay, all students take calculus. So A means all, so all, meaning every trig function in that quadrant is positive. So this tells you what is positive and what's negative. So A means all, everything in first quadrant is positive. Sine is positive, cosine is positive, tangent is positive. And all of their reciprocals are positive. S means sine. Sine is positive in quadrant two, but everything else is negative. Okay, sine is the only thing that's positive, and then cosine, tangent are negative. T means tangent. So tangent is the only thing that's positive, everything else is negative. Okay, in third quadrant. And then the fourth quadrant, C, uh, sorry, that means cosine. So cosine is positive, but everything else is negative. So you want to remember all students take calculus. That means which one is positive in which quadrant. So this will help a lot. All right. Okay, this is where it gets really tricky. So let's have you guys take out your calculator first because we're going to use the calculator a lot today. Let's look at the first question. <clears throat> what are the radian measures of all angles whose sine is negative 0 0.9? OK, first we want to translate this sentence into actual uh, math equation, right? What are all the radian measures? Radian measures just means angles, right? So what are all the angles of all kinds of angles, so all angles in the world ever, whose sine is zero, uh, negative 0 0.9. This means sine of what angle is going to be negative 0 0.9? That's the question. Sine of what angle is going to give me a ratio of negative 0 0.9? All right, so let's think about all student K calculus. Sine is negative. Sine is negative. So which two quadrants are sine negative? Three and four. Okay, so remember all students take calculus. We're looking for where sign is negative or where a sign is not positive. Remember that this tells me what is positive. So sign is positive here, sign is positive here. So then the question is where is a negative? It has to be on the bottom. Yes? This is where. Quadrant one is where a, uh, sine is always positive. Quadrant two, sine is positive. The question is asking for where is sine negative. So it has to be on the bottom. Okay? All right, so the angles are going to be on the bottom. So there are two angles on the bottom that's going to give sine negative. So we had to find two angles first. All right, what are those angles? Well, first of all, we have to read the question very carefully. It says radian. Okay, so that means make sure your calculator is in radian mode. Okay, first change your calculator to radian mode. Make sure that you're not in degrees or else your, your answer is all wrong. Okay, radian mode first. Move this a little bit. Okay, now how do you actually figure out the angle? We're going to, uh, we didn't really talk about this this year. Uh, next year, you're going to do this a lot, which is called the inverse function. So inverse function means we need to get rid of sine. Uh, let me write this again so it's more clear. So sine theta is equal to negative 0 0.9. What we're going to do is we're going to try to solve for the angle here. To solve for the angle here, we cannot just divide by sin or sin. 
That makes no sense. It's a function. We can't just get rid of a function like dividing. We need to do the opposite of this function. And then to do the opposite, it means we need to do a inverse. So we're going to do an inverse sign here. And then whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. So kind of like matrix, the matrix chapter, right? If we want to get rid of that matrix, we apply the inverse to get rid of it. So it's the same idea. We get rid of it by applying the inverse. So that cancels out. We have a theta equals inverse sine uh, negative 0 0.9. All right. Locate the inverse sine button on your calculator. Um, I am pretty sure you did that in geometry. You probably just didn't know it was called inverse sine. You were just like, oh, when I see sine, I do this on my calculator. Um, so everyone's calculator is a little different. Inverse sine is usually on top of sine, but you have to get to that button by pressing like a second button or something like that. Uh, depending on your calculator, mine, I have to type in negative 0 0.9 first and then inverse sine. Yours may be you type in inverse sine first and then negative 0 0.9. Okay, so try that. Your answer will be in radian. All right, what answer did you get? Okay, 1.12 is good. Uh, where is negative 1.12 on your chart? Because you're supposed to get two angles. Obviously, we only saw one from our calculator. So where is negative 1.12? Which one? The third quadrant one or the fourth quadrant one? Third. Talk to your partner. Which one? Third or fourth? How do you know? Well, uh, here, let's think about this. What angle is that in radian? In radian, in radian. Pi, right? That's pi, right? And then if we're going to go in a negative direction, we're going to go in negative pi. What is negative pi? What's pi in actual number? 3.14, so this is negative 3.14, right? So half of that is gonna be here, half of that, so what's half of um, 3.14 about? Uh, 1.57. Yeah, so negative 1.57, so then where is negative 1.12? In the fourth quadrant, okay? So we found this angle. What about this angle? Hmm. We're going to have to be a little clever, and I need you to pay attention because this confuses people every year. <sighs> I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier. Maybe not. Okay, this part is negative 1.12. This part is the same, but just not negative. So it's 1.12. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to make this a little better. Hmm. Hmm. So what should we do? The it is the opposite, but we're going to try to get to those angles from um, zero degrees. Okay, so negative 1.12 means this direction 1.12. And then we know this is symmetrical. So then this is also 1.12. Let's say that we try to get to these angles from um, the zero degree. If I am here at zero degree, how do I get to this angle, the third quadrant angle? I have to go half a circle, right? Half a circle is what? 180 degrees or what in radian? Pi. Pi. And then I'm not there yet, right? How much more do I have to go? 1.12. Okay, so the first angle in the third quadrant is pi plus 1.12. That's the first angle. Because if you're starting from zero, you have to go pi first, which is half of a circle, and then 1.12. Uh, 
So you always start from a zero? You always start from zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You always start from zero. So pi plus 1.12. Now, how do you get to the second one in the fourth quadrant? Add 1.5. Um, As something, or let's think of it backwards. How much is the whole circle? 360. 2 pi. Uh, 360, 2 pi, right? And then I'm going to go whole circle and then backwards. How do you say backwards? Minus. minus. So this is basically 2 pi minus 1.12 for the fourth quadrant run. Because you go a whole circle, which is 2 pi, and then backwards 1.12. Uh, yeah, you can add some other number, like if you can figure out what this is in between. Pi is the half circle. Huh? Uh, the third, third part. All right, so I would suggest that you draw this out and then kind of visually see where things are and then write it out because it gets really crazy. Okay, last crazy part. It says they want all angles. All angles means every single angle, including all of their terminal, co-terminal angles, every angle that ends on the same side. So for example, um, uh, the third quadrant one, we're, we're ending here. What's another angle that ends in the same place? <laughs> like any Add number? Another add another 360, right? Yes. And then I can add another 360 and add another 360. Remember last chapter, we have a lot of co-terminal angles. So every angle that ends on the same place. So how do you write that? Plus 2 pi. Yes. So plus, oops, plus 2 pi. But not just 2 pi, right? I can keep going 2 pi and 2 pi. 2 pi n? Yes. Now, n is integer. So you have to say n is an integer because you have to be specific. What is n? Can it be all real numbers? Nope. You can only go in one revolution, right? Mm -hmm. Going in the positive n, meaning like... Um, one, two, three, four, five. That means you're going to rotate in the positive direction. And then negative means you're going to go in the backwards direction, but a whole full circle. Are you guys kind of with me? Yeah. Okay. This is a lot to learn. So let's so do another. Whole answer? Yes, that's the whole answer. Huh? Uh, which part? Okay. Yeah, it's a lot to think about. Um, and represents integers. So it's just telling you how many times you can go around the circle, a full circle. Yeah, you have to, because there are two angles, so you have to write two answers. <laughs> okay. Let's try another one. Uh, what are the radian measures of all angles whose tangent is negative 0 0.84? OK, tangent of what is negative 0 0.84? And that what is an angle? All right, I'll still take calculus. So you had to figure out which two quadrants will tangent be negative that tells you which um, which trig function is positive or negative in that quadrant so then we can narrow down instead of trying to figure out where is tangent in all four quadrants we can narrow down to just two okay uh, hold on okay so let's come back to this okay so First, you got to translate the equation, right? The, the word problem into real uh, math instances. So tangent of what is negative 0 0.84? All right, next we think about all student take calculus. Okay, so talk to your partner. Which, which quadrants are uh, tangent 
uh, negative. There are two of them. So talk to your partner. Which two is tangent negative? Okay, which two quadrants are tangent uh, negative? Two and four are very good. Okay, so now what we want to do is kind of draw a representative angle. The angles will always go to x-axis, okay? Please don't draw it this way. That makes no sense. Only to the x-axis. All right, so let's use our calculator. So we are going to try to figure out theta. So we are going to do the inverse on both sides. That gives rid of that tangent. So then theta is equal to inverse tangent negative 0 0.84. At this time, please double check. Do they want radian or degrees? They want radian. So keep your calculator in radian. Okay, use your calculator. Your calculator is going to give you one answer. Okay, make sure you're in radian. <laughs> okay, what answer did you get? Okay, let's say negative point seven. Okay, negative point seven. Where's negative point seven? The second quadrant or the fourth quadrant? Four. Fourth. Because it's negative. Because it's negative point seven, which is not higher than three point one four, right? So it can't go past half circle. Right? Half of a circle is 3.14. Yeah. Okay. Right? 0. 0.7 has to be this one. Oh, it can't be it that one. It has to be like 2 point something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this has to be 0. 0.7 as well. Okay, the last part is writing the answer. So if you get to this point, it's good. Uh, now, writing the answer is the hard part. So just think of it visually. How do I get to this angle in the second quadrant? If I start from zero, I have to go how much? Pi over two. Pi, uh, not pi over two, just pi. Pi, pi, pi and then minus, minus 0. 0.7. Okay, go all the way and then backwards a little bit. So pi minus 0. 0.7. Okay, how about the second one, the, sec the one in the fourth quadrant? Uh, two, two, pi. two pi minus 0. 0.7. Okay, double check. What do they want? All angles. All angles, we have to do what? Plus 2 pi. Plus 2 pi n, because we can't go around the circle indefinite amount of times, but we got to specify. n is an integer. Okay, this whole thing is your answer, okay? This whole thing is your answer. So there is a lot of detail you have to pay attention to, especially the all angles. Yes? Why couldn't you do pi over 2 plus 0 0.7? Pi over 2 is here. If you say plus 0 0.7, you're assuming this part is 0 0.7, but we don't know if yeah. it is. Right? It's not, 0.7 is not exactly halfway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Minus or plus? Well, it depends on where you are. So if you're going to go to pi, you already overshot your angle. So you're going to go back. Go back means minus. So you always go to pi or 2 pi instead of like pi over 2, right? If you want to be really creative and go to the middle. And then, then you have to figure out what is the different pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not the best way. OK. You are ready to, uh, yeah. How do you know whether it's over? You can see it, right? If you go pi, you're already more than this line. Your, your angle is right here. Right, your angle is this much. If you go to here, you're already overshooting it. <laughs> Jimmy's like, <gasps> looking at me, confused. Okay, practice. Angles whose sine is 0 0.37. I'm going to help you first. Sine of what is 0 0.37? All students take calculus. All right. Go ahead and try to solve this with your partner. Let me know when you are done. <laughs> okay, first, where is sine positive? 
first and second quadrant. So then what you want to do is do the inverse um, sign. So then we can figure out the angle. It tells us the angle is 0 0.379. Yes, 0 0.379. So that is this part, 379 and 0 0.379. Okay, so the final answer is basically you start from zero and then go up, and that is 0 0.379, and then they want all angles, so plus two pi n. And the second one, you go all the way to pi and backwards a little bit, so that is pi minus 0 0.379 plus two pi n. N is integer. All right, so that is the answer. Can you do 0.38? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can round a little bit. Okay, let's try another one. This time, you're not going to use your calculator. You're just going to think about it because all the numbers are in the unit circle. So you're going to have to think about your unit circle. Okay, so some of you had a 2 pi. That's okay. Okay? Yes, yes, but remember 2 pi is just kind of like part of this 2 pi, so it doesn't really matter. You just had an extra 2 pi. The 2 pi doesn't matter because it just means go around another revolution. So is it okay for that? It's fine. It's just redundant. Huh? All right. We are probably not going to get to the very last part, but let's finish this unit circle part. Uh, what are all the radian measures of all the angles whose cosine is blah, blah, blah? Okay, same question as before. Cosine of what is negative square root 2 over 2? Okay, let's all student take calculus. Which two quadrants will make cosine negative? 2 and 3, correct. Two and three. Okay, so the angles are here. Now, you're not gonna use your calculator, you're gonna think. Think about this. All your unit circle, all that, you know, kind of have a mental thing of your unit circle. Which angles will give cosine a negative square root two over two? So which angles give the x direction a negative square root two over two? 135 and, and 225, correct. However, radian. Three pi over four. And Three pi over four. And five pi over four. Five pi over four, correct. All angles. So we need to do what? Plus two pi n. Plus two pi n. Okay, so when they give you special uh, lengths like that, you should just think about unit circle instead of using the cal uh, use the calculator. Okay, so you got to have that mental unit circle in your mind so you can do this. <laughs> wow. Okay, next. Wait, how do you know it's uh, quadrant two and three? All students to calculus, so anything that does not have a positive for cosine. Okay, so everything is positive. Sine is positive, that means everything else. Okay. All right, next one. Let's try another one. What are all the degree measures of angles just within 0 to 2 pi whose sine is negative 1 half? So sine of what is negative 1 half? All right, all students take calculus. Which two quadrants? Oh, Stephen, you're too fast for today. OK, so <laughs> wait five seconds <laughs> before you say something. <laughs> OK, three and four. All right. Okay. Think about it. Think about it. Which two angles makes y direction negative one half? Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Which, but in degrees. In degrees. In degrees. Two ten. Two ten. And not three forty. There's no three forty. Very close. <laughs> yeah, 330. And they want from 0 to 2 pi, so that's it. 
So they, they're not saying all angles. They said just between 0 to 360. So that's it. If it is, you add 360 in. If it says all angles, add 360 in. Wait, so it'd be here and here. And then you just find what it is in degrees? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, that's all we have time for today. I'm gonna change your homework a little bit because you probably won't be able to solve those equations. Um, just work on these.